So basically, um, what I've got going here, you guys saw the post. I got this for um, 18 bucks shipped. So it's cheaper than the price of a blaster. Um, so yeah, and I, I mean, I can't find a blaster anyway. So I, I think I would kind of rather go this route. Um, my phone, I don't know if it, how much battery it has left. So bear with me. It's not charging very well. Anyway, so yeah, we'll go that route. Um, I don't think he's in here. I can't see. I can't really see my phone. So if you're asking questions, I'll try and get to him, but I can't really see him. I did want to give a shout out to underscore not designed. Um, been having some good conversations with him and just out of the kindness of his heart. He sent me this Cassius Stanley blue hoops parallel, which I think looks really good with pacers. By the way, he's in the dunk contest. And then this incredible Jalen Rhodes auto, which I didn't have. So that's, I thought that was pretty nice. All right, let's, um, let's skip to the binder here. If people aren't in here, they can watch it later. It's not that big of a deal. Watch it on my YouTube channel. Maybe if I can figure out how to put it there. Video is not my thing. If you guys haven't figured that out yet. Um, I don't think cutting boxes is either. All right. And by the way, like I I know I've opened some cool lots recently or I've shown some cool collections. I don't have high expectations for this one. Um, I'm in it. Remember, I'm in it at 18 bucks. I don't really know. I didn't see much of what was in there. Uh, yes, I did say hoops card looked really good. Um, thoughts on the Brady card? Uh, I'm not. I haven't even looked. I've been at work, so I'm just opening a binder right now. Um, not. I mean, I'm not trying to dismiss questions. I really can't see my phone and open at the same time, just with the way this is angled. So, um, loving the blue, <laughs> the blue Saran wrap here. That'll keep it safe. Which you know, actually, that's better than a lot of binders that. I've received so let's see what we got here blue blue that's a good sign right man more stuff if you got to work to open it that means it's usually well protected so I can't complain too much I mean I bought binders where the cards are like falling out of the binder or have fallen out of the binder in the box already so I'll take it All right, I, I used to work retail back in college, and I opened a lot of boxes, and they'd always tell you on the training videos to open away from yourself, but it's just easier to open towards yourself, right? All right, so let's see. Man, I'm actually pretty impressed by that. All right, let me see if I can get this thing tilted to where you can see it. And, hey, it'd help if I would put the light on it, maybe. I'm not very good at this. All right. Um, <laughs> let the guy <laughs> All right. So, let's see what we got here. So, uh, I see a player's club. That's good. Um, there's a shack here. I don't think this is actually a rookie. I think it's just a second year. Just tops rookie team or whatever. I think I'm pretty sure that's second year. Um, got my guy here. Nothing of significance there. All right. Looks like they're not putting cards on the back, so that'll make it a little easier to show. Um, got some 90, 94, 95 collector's choice. Look at the, the latter year. Brett from Stacking Slabs just sent me a picture of a Travis Best card today from that same set. We were getting a good laugh out of that. I remember that opening those packs very well around when I first started collecting. Um, okay, here we go. There's a couple Jordan, you crash the game cards. I am going to grab those while I see them. Um, and we've got the Reggie Miller 50 point club. I don't think that's the only game I remember him scoring 50 was against the Hornets. And I think that was at the Hive, so I don't even think that picture is, is from that. But nonetheless, he's in the club. Um, Sean Kemp, rookie invest which actually who knows where this is going but yeah i've seen people talking about that card recently we'll put it that way i actually have this card signed this dominique i got this signed uh at a bobcats game once man my light situation is not good here i'm sorry about that i'm not a pro youtuber 
and the light almost just went off the table. Let me see if I can get this fixed. Physics. All right, I don't teach physics. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Oh, there's a Rashid rookie up there leaning on that ladder. Nothing on the backs here. Um, Rodman base on the bottom. Oh, here we go. Some finest stuff. We got Tim Hardaway. Looks like Horace Grant, Carl Malone. There's another Jordan's checklist. I'll have to check this stuff. Some of the, I doubt it is, but some of the Collector's Choice International variants. You got to look on the back. That doesn't appear to be one, but I bought a binder once and it had tons of international stuff. So I had to sort through all that. We got a Gary Payton rookie. Um, a month ago, I would not have pulled that out, but who knows? Who knows now? Um, your hands alone illuminate the whole binder. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty white. Um, here we go. This is what it's all about here. The death lab, death left shrimp. That's actually a really, I really like those, uh, but I probably have, I don't know, six or seven of that card by now. Um, really cool. A Jordan checklist. I mean, when every page has got a Jordan, or about every page has a Jordan, you can't go wrong there. Uh, look, if you can read this, there's reading is fundamental, right? Nothing significant on that page. Another Detla. And Matumbo rookie. Yes, I'm pulling it. Um, I need to go back and grab that other debt left too, but Jordan, Jordan, can't go wrong with Jordan. And yes, I'm going to go grab the other one. Sorry. Where did I see that? Just because it's a cool card. You know, really by the time I was into the Pacers though, they had already traded for Derek McKee, but cool nonetheless. There's a gold you crash the game Matumbo down here. Uh, I don't see anything. I'm looking at this at an angle going quick. Nothing that sticks out to me here. There's another players club, David Robinson. Steve, probably a Frisbee Steve, probably has like 12 of those. What's up, guys? What's up, everyone that's joined? So I'm, I'm, I can't really see the comments all that well. I have to look. What was that? Was that an electric court top right two pages back? Good question. I'm at an angle here, so you might have asked that several pages ago. Uh, I don't see an electric court. Are you talking about this one here? So I think it would still have the foil on it, right? I don't know. I'll go back to it. Sorry. I, I'm not very good at seeing and flipping here. All right. I don't think we've seen this page yet. Nothing of significance. Oh, here. Uh, actually, a couple of things here that I like. And no, it was not the Garnett that got my attention first. This was a pretty big moment in Pacers NBA history. And it's the Players Club. It's Rick Smith's The Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead, if you've heard Mark Boyle on that radio broadcast. Oh, and he's saying one more back. I didn't go enough pages back. And then a, a, a Kevin Garnett rookie, which that stuff's going up, going up right now. And Kevin Garnett really doesn't get, hasn't got a lot of respect um, throughout the past. Let me see, you said several pages back. I'm going to have to go through this again. I don't remember how many pages back I was. I don't think it was the Rashid. I don't think it was that far back. An electric court, the finest. I went way back here. Um, not seeing an electric court. I'll go back later. I promise. I will uh, let you know, or I'll have to just watch it back later. Let's see here. I mean, even so, it wasn't electric court. It wasn't electric court gold. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's keep going. We got Jamal Mashburn, rookie. Uh, let's see here. Don't see. There's a Reggie Miller. A couple Reggies on this page. Young Lions. I always felt like these should be worth something. Um, and the last I checked, they weren't. Because I, I see these all the time. I'm like, oh, that's such a cool insert. It's from Fleer. Nope. Not worth anything. Another player's club. Um, this is a... Mark Jackson. I'm going to pull that one out. 
probably have all this stuff. I probably have doubles of it. Let's see here. Here's a players, lots of players clubs. Um, I'm yes, I'm pulling this Grizzlies logo card. I like this kind of stuff. Let's see, young. <laughs> you're not very impressed by the young lions. I can see. It wasn't a great reaction. I do like seeing metal in here, even if it is Sean Bradley. Well, there's nothing wrong with Sean Bradley, I suppose. Um, Muggsy. I met Muggsy a couple times. Nice dude. Rick Smith's speeding success. You could call it that. Let's see what we got here. Here's another player's club. Who's that? KJ? Kevin Johnson? Looks like it. Got a Penny, got a Gary Payton. There's a die cut. I don't know the odds on those. 90s was not my forte. Jerry Stackhouse ladder. Ladder shot there. Another Rashid ladder, another Garnett rookie. I don't know what these are going for now. I'd love to get the um, Players Club. I, well, I actually flipped one recently on Com C, like within a day. Are you a Pacers fan? Yes, I am. Very much so. Um, I, In fact, sometimes I fear that I talk about them too much on my show because um, I talk about them every week. But yes, I am a Pacers fan. Big Pacers fan. Um, nothing. Don't see anything significant here. Going through quick. Okay, some Skybox. So a little change of pace from the collector's choice. Mm, nothing that sticks out to me here. Kid, that's a rookie, the Jason Kid. And I see a Stackhouse Players Club on there. I mean, this is a solid binder for what I paid for it 20 bucks or 18, not even 20. Some more going back to Collector's Choice. We've got an Allen Houston Players Club. We've got a, looks like Weber, Washington Bullets Players Club. Let's see, here's one of the biggest Jeff Foster fans ever. I am the biggest Jeff Foster fan ever. Actually, there is a collector that has a nicer Jeff Foster collection than me. Um, he's in Texas. He's a Spurs fan. Cam the Spurs fan. I think that's his username. Um, and I have been trying to pry those Jeff Foster cards out of his hands, which I understand that he doesn't want to trade them. All right, let's see what else we got here. Going to flip through. Nothing super exciting. Larry Johnson. So this is, um, someone asked me the other day, what is the most iconic Hornets card in history? They said, is it the Anthony Davis RPA? No, it's this card right here. Um, and I think I even left this out of my basketball history. I was flying through stuff in those episodes. This is the most iconic Hornets card here. Uh, iconic is not always about being the most expensive or the most valuable. So this one right here has the most significance, um, in my opinion. And yes, that's a future episode that I hope to do with Jason, a.k.a. Small Town. I'm pressuring him into it. Um, that's going to be a fun episode. A two, Probably a two-parter at least. Here we got another Players Club. Seems to be quite a few of those we have here. Quick look, don't see much of anything. Don't see much of anything. Here's the Topps Gold of D. Brown. That's S. Howley's guy. This uh, Another one of, of Carl Malone. That's no one's guy. Maybe uh, Sorry, actually, it's Adams. But Well, a Spurs fan cannot, by definition, be the biggest Jeff Foster fan. Well, Jeff Foster, in his defense, went to college in Texas, so... I will give him that. All right, I got to move my cart here. All right, um, this is better. This is, a, I've always loved this card, and I wasn't even really old enough to watch that series and appreciate that playoff series for what it was. But um, yeah, I always love that card. Another Jordan, another, a couple Jordans on one page. Very nice. Let's grab those real quick. Yes, this binder, someone asked for 18 shipped. Yeah, 18 shipped. I mean, uh, I'm going to be that guy. The binder alone, the pages alone are worth so much. But really, yeah, I'll go to a card show. I mean, I could put this at a card show and then just price it by the page for the stuff that I don't want. Um, Stackhouse on a ladder again. 
a Grant Hill rookie. It always bothered me that there was nothing like that designated the 94-95s as rookies. just thought that was a poor design. The penny sleeves alone. Yeah, I know. It's And they're not nasty. There's not like... Um, gross stuff in them you know I get some books that are just disgusting um and like your hands burn after you go through them but uh here's a uh Alonzo Morning Gold another Jordan pull that out lots of Jordans in here all right well here's a uh um what I was looking for earlier a silver here's another Larry Johnson rookie Shaq all-star advice there's another players club let's see what we got here anything of significance I don't see it nice uh, Reggie Miller sharpshooter insert another players club of the Spurs uh, nothing here that I can see nothing well there's a Jordan let me grab that real quick I think that Grant Hill is a rookie. Um, Steve Smith rookie. Yeah, and so there's some other rookies in here that um, I'm not going to pull out. Another Topps Gold. It's a Shaq second year, I believe. Another Jordan. Jeez. I see a Damon Stoudemire rookie, I think. And Haywood Workman guarding him. We'll get there. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, hey, this is a good page. So, let's take a look at what we got. So, we got a Kevin Garnett rookie. Okay, not too bad, right? Kevin Garnett rookie. Um, we got, missed a, I missed a Jordan a couple pages back. Let me check that. Did I? Am I looking at the right pages here? I'll have to go through it again. I don't see it. I'm... I'll go through it again later. Oh, yeah, I did miss one. You're right. 45. 45, MJ. Good eye. Good eye. It helps when I got 25 other sets of eyes on these. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I'm, I'm excited about that page that I just got to. Uh, let me go back. Sorry. All right. So, Damon Sotomayor, rookie. Being guarded by Haywood Workman. Current NBA ref. He's been a ref for a long time, by the way. Um, Jordan Nuts and Bolts. That I am happy about. Great looking card. I've had many copies of that over the years. Um, let's see here. Stackhouse is Joe Smith rookie. Kid is a that nuts and bolts is a second year. Not bad. Let's see what else we got here. Nick Anderson rookie. I'm not pulling that out. Sean Elliott rookie. I should pull that out for. Um, username my player collection, but I'm not. He's he's probably got a kajillion of them. So Reggie, there's Kendall Gill. What is this? Platinum. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Platinum. Um, all right, help me out. Help me out, guys. How rare is the Platinum? I honestly, I mean, I've, I've opened these. Uh, I've opened 94 Collector's Choice forever. I've never seen a Platinum. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Might not be worth much of anything, but it's cool. Might not be worth as much as Bryant Reeves leaning on a ladder. That ladder. So that's somewhat, you won't see it. Someone's got to be supporting that ladder from the other side. Big country. All right, Glenn Rice rookie, Garnett rookie again. That one's in good shape. Maybe one in 30 packs, one per box, but giant checklist. Yeah, that's not bad, though. I'll, I'll live with that. Those are nice. I, I don't, that's weird. I really don't remember ever seeing the Platinums. Got some USA stuff. Uh, Jordan would not be in this because this is a 96 team. So, flip through. So, some 96 top stars. Didn't expect to see that in here. I mean, I didn't really know what I was going to see in here. Um, but, yeah, there we go. And then some blank pages at the end. 
Someone asked on the comments, is that some sort of a page protector? I think on my Twitter they ask on the back. Yes, it is. This is common um, for like binders in general. I mean, I used to sell office supplies. That's common for binders in general, but nice for basketball cards too. All right. Um, what made you buy this binder? Did you see certain cards or was it just the price? Uh, the fact that it was, I, I didn't see a lot of cards. Um, the fact that it was 18 bucks and they said there were over 400 NBA cards and that's cheaper than a blaster. And I figured, you know, if the experience cost alone is worth it. So that's uh, why I bought that one. So, uh, appreciate you guys for joining me. I guess I could go through some of the, the hits real quick. Garnett, um, a Players Club, Club, Players Club Platinum, Kendall Gill, a Jordan Nuts and Bolts, um, Jordan, another Garnett rookie, another Jordan, another Jordan, Larry Johnson rookie, another Jordan, Grant Hill rookie, Jordan base, Larry Johnson base, Jason Kidd rookie, we're going to put him with Grant Hill, Garnett rookie, again, Grizzlies logo, that's just a random one, Pacers, Players Club, Garnett rookie, Pacers, Pacers, couple Pacers, um, Jordan, put that with the Jordans, another Jordan, he's back, I always liked this little set here, I like the, there's one where he's against the Pacers, though, obviously his first game back, that's a good one. Matumbo, we're going to put him with Larry Johnson. Jordan, Gary Payton rookie. Jordan, Sean Kemp rookie. And a couple Jordan Silver. You crashed the game. All right, guys, thanks for viewing. Um, no Glenn Rice. No, there was a Glenn Rice rookie in there. I didn't put it with the hits, though, because it's not a hit. I'm sorry to my... There's two Glenn Rice guys that just joined. Glenn Rice is not a hit. I'm so sorry. I'm going to leave going to leave you on that note so thanks for tuning in uh new episodes every thursday of the actual podcast check out the one from this past thursday from yesterday with alan siegel the designer of the nba logo um i felt like it was a great conversation not because of me but because of him very engaging um, great guy all around very gracious to come on the show so thank you have a great evening have a great weekend i'll talk to you guys later